This one is really hard to even wrap your mind around. We're talking about a guy who pulls out his camera while he's driving and just goes right for a guy on a bicycle, completely crushing him. And Detroit police saying tonight there is no way that this was an accident. What do you think now, of that? I think the person ain't even try to avoid him. Fellow bicyclist Randall Cousins is right. Instead of stopping to help the man on the bike that he just hit on purpose, the driver posted the POV video on Instagram for clout. I think they have no conscience and don't care. It happened on Detroit's east side last Thursday morning here off Edgewood near Isham. The bicyclist's shoes still here Monday. He was knocked off the bike and out of those shoes. We're told both of his legs are broken. Then the driver hits another car, not on video, and speeds off. I've seen people hit by a car, but it's usually has some kind of motive. This one appears to be just for social media. We asked Commander John Savak if this could be one of those dangerous TikTok trends. Detroit police checked in with neighboring police agencies. They haven't seen anything like this, so it looks like an isolated incident. The DPD has some work to do. The driver wiped his social media off the map since it was posted last week. Now they'll need warrants to search those accounts. He's not going to get away with it. This is right where you ride, literally. Yeah, I ride around here every day. This is Randall's route. He shook the thought of someone being so heartless still out there. He does take precautions already. All that, you know, you need it out here. This area in particular on the city's east side, he says, it's tough to navigate a bike safely. Too many close calls to count. But over here, for some reason, they speed, don't care, honk their horn, cuss you out. We got rights like them. Detroit police say best case scenario, that driver turns himself in. It usually works out better that way. But regardless, they've secured those warrants. They know who it is, at least the profile. It's just a matter of time before they track this guy. Reporting on Detroit's west side, Jessica Dupnak on The Edge.